this tutorial we're going to look at how to create a Topcon GC3 calibration file from site control data. So what we will be needing to complete this is a copy of 3D Office installed on your computer, the local site control data in the format of Eastings, Northings and Elevation, the WGS84 data for the same local site control in the format of latitude, longitude and ellipsoidal height and a copy of Microsoft Excel. So here we have our Microsoft Excel CSV file in the format of our point name, easting, northing, elevation, latitude, longitude and ellipsoidal height. So the first thing we need to know is the format of our latitude and longitude. Normally it's going to be in either this type of format where we're going to have 51 degrees, 38 minutes, 51.80033 seconds or similarly this but with a northing at the end or a westerly at the end. So the first thing we need to do is put it into this type of format which looks like a decimal degrees but is in fact just the same number ordered 51 degrees minutes and seconds but just with the degrees sign changed to a decimal point. Um, and on the longitudes, where we are sitting at a westerly, basically it's the number is a negative. So in this instance here, we just need to replace some of these items in here to get it into this format. So we need to replace, first of all, this with nothing at all. And uh, we need to replace the decimal point that is sitting just in here with nothing. And uh, we need to replace the colon there with nothing. Oh. And the next thing we need to replace is this degrees or D just with a decimal point. So once we've done that, as you can see, it now looks like a decimal degrees, but all we've done is change this D for a decimal point. So we don't actually need these two in this example. So if I now save this as our site control, and we need to save that as a CSV, it will always ask you this about compatibility on the CSVs. First thing to do is close that down because what you'll find is 3D Office won't allow you to input this into it if you've still got it open in Microsoft Excel. So now we can come into 3D Office and if we go up to project and import control points from text file it takes you into this custom format page. At the moment we've got nothing set in here so we need to create a new format and we will just call this control. Our file extension is CSV and what we have here are line items. The line items are basically how we've got this CSV file set out. So following from the left to the right we had point name appended with the trailing comma because it's a CSV. Next we had our point easting. Then we had our point northing. Then we had our point elevation, and we've got latitude, longitude, and finally the ellipsoidal height. That now will bring in the data from our CSV. The only other thing we need to add in are these import rules. Now, if you were to have a header on the CSV table, which we did, Basically, we need to tell it to skip the first line because that has actually got no data in it. It's just to tell us what items are in the boxes. So now we've created this custom format. We hit next and browse our way to where we save that file. Hit finish looks as though it's done nothing at this point but if we go up to project and control points we can see they're all listed here so what we need to do now is double click or click on and hit edit 
and just tell it that we want to use this for our horizontal and our vertical localization. The reason it does this is when you start going through and double clicking on these, if there are any single point that brings up an error, either in the vertical or horizontal, we can basically tell it to ignore it for that point. If we just go through, select all these, tell it to use vertical and horizontal. Now we hit OK. You can see we've got a localization file with these five points on. I know this is correct because if it was to bring the line work in, you'll be able to see that the localization is covering the area that I need it to. So if I now go in and project export these, I can export it to a Topcon GC3 file. Uh, just call this one control. This will now save as the GC3 file and can be imported into any new Topcon project file for the machine control and all the survey equipment.